Hey guys, it's Randy coming back at you with another shade tree mechanic, shall we? Off on the love of guitars, girls, green grass, and guns. Yeah. These trailer bunks or trailer running boards, however you want to look at them, these will deteriorate after time. This trailer is 10 years old. And as you can imagine, with the carpet being wet, this wood just absorb in all of, all of the moisture. Doesn't quite look right, so we're gonna replace this board here. You can see that's really, really rotten. I think it looks good, dude. Let's just keep it and let's yeah. just go with it. We good? We're about saving money. All right, guys, first things first, let's talk about uh, replacing the wood and replacing the actual carpeting that goes over it. Now, before we did this, I did a little bit of research on where to just buy this at, besides using indoor-outdoor carpet. It's gonna be hard, you're gonna be wasting a lot of material, getting things cut to the right sizes. So I did some research and I saw Academy Sports and Outdoors here where we live had it. So I just got a roll of it and it's 12 feet by eight inches. Perfect for going over these, that's what it's made for. So that's what we went ahead and did, is got two of these for each side. Simple, easy replacement, especially when it's already pretty much cut for how you need it. Second off, we used pressure treated wood. Uh, these are two by four by eights, and eight is just about six inches longer than the original existing pieces were, but I'm fine with that, having a little more protection up in the hole of the boat. Shouldn't be a big deal. The wood will be able to flex a little bit up there too. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. Let's get this kind of laid out, cut, and uh, stapled on, man. And let's get ready to put it on there. And like we were saying, guys, for my trailer, they're eight foot pieces in length, and the piece it comes with is 12. So you're gonna have a little bit of extra. So with both those pieces, you might as well just hang on to that little bit of extra just in case you need it for something, something on your boat. You never know when you might need it in the future. Just go ahead and hang on to those. Unless yours is 12 foot long, then you're kind of where you need to be. But Now the way we're gonna do the edges on ours, and you can do it however you want, there's no right or wrong way to do this necessarily. It's just protecting it, who cares? We're gonna go ahead and cut the excess just to fold it up and under. You could also do it like you would wrap a Christmas present if you wanted to, but this is just the way we wanna do it. Less material that's gonna be bound up for the staples, so just nice and easy, simple, and staple it. and try something different. I'm gonna use the bound and gag technique, which is something I actually learned from David Carradine when we were shooting the uh, Kung Fu TV series. So, let's check this out. It's as simple as that, man. We'll see you guys in the next one. Chainsaws, man, make sure you guys get one of these. They work really good. All right, guys, and here comes another situation you might run into. The majority of the people, uh, me alone, I would, I would have rather done it this way too, can take your boat to the marina, uh, your local dock, dock it up, and do this out uh, in the parking lot. Just you're free. You know, you don't have to do anything. You don't do anything else. But not us, because we're men. We do it a different way. We decide. You know what? Let's do this in the driveway, like straight up animals. That's right. So that's what we're doing. So just like men, our uh, jack wasn't big enough. So we had to get a little extension for it, and that's what these pieces of wood are for. Get them up in between the jack and the boat. Get the boat up in there a little bit on one side. You can see the wood actually levels out to the boat, so you're not putting stress on a on a small area. You're spreading the area out. The pressure's already off the back. And I hope you can see right there, the pressure just came off the front. And that's all the further that we want to do it because we don't, if this thing slips and falls, we don't want it to fall too far. We 
We got the back ones undone. Now we'll do the, or we got the front ones undone. Now we'll do the back. As you can see, all these are is 3 8 inch lag bolts. They just simply go up through the frame and into the wood. And uh, yeah, it's not thick enough to go through the wood and puncture the boat. So these are what we're using to hold the, the bunkers down. And if the bunk wood on your trailer is doing something similar to this, it might be about time to get rid of it. And that's why we're doing this. As you can see, this, this piece right here is just completely disintegrated. So what we want to do is line these up together so that we can run pilot holes right here as soon as we put it on there. That way everything lines up together and stays the same. But what I'm, I'm going to start back here and run these pilot holes first and then do the rear end of it. the video thanks for stopping by and this is how we install new bunker runner rails or whatever you want to call them have a good day